Hello everybody, this is Frogman. Welcome back to Feed the Beast Skies. Last episode, we finally got into something other than create for a little while by doing a little bit of mana production using a kind of a fun little thing that I haven't used in a really long time and have since done a little bit of um, work down there, just kind of cleaning a couple of things up and it's actually producing reasonably well. Uh, we're going to have to kind of do a little bit further work with that as far as that goes. We need to kind of build a couple of things because I want to try to get a little bit further into that pack, that portion. We need to get after speaking to the elves so we can get after making a couple other things because again, my in goal my goal with Batania for the most part at this point, I guess, is going to be an or kid or kid, if I can spell, we're, we'll be using these eventually because there's a good way of being able to get a lot of stuff from that, that mod. It's one of my favorite ways to make things. Uh, and we're going to be mainly interested in this one because of the fact that it's going to allow us to accumulate nether quartz ore, nether gold ore, and of course the ancient debris. Now that's what I'm going to say is probably the best use of our nether rack at this point, given, you know, considering we can, you know, do other things with it as far as where's the crush. We got to do, there's a bunch of things you got to do. You got to crush it. Um, yeah, we got to do crush nether rack, and then we have to sift crush nether rack using an amethyst mesh for a 10% chance on that netherite scrap. Now, netherite scrap. For those of you that are not unfam unfamiliar with the way this is work, is the only way we're going to be able to get, where is it, netherite ingots. Netherite ingots, we're going to need to move forward for some of the other things that we want to be able to build in this pack to include, you know, ME storage drives and, uh, well, my cellic generators and this thing plus, where is it? I'm looking at a couple of other things here. I think it's going to be more along the lines of, industrial foregoing where are the i think it's this one yeah this one in order to be able to make anything with an advanced machine frame so the uh enchantment stuff enchanting things fluid saving devices um where is it it's the laser the laser the fluid laser thingies the laser bases the laser parts for those enchantment stuff but you know again generating things i i'm still a little lost here where are they yeah or laser or the mob duplicator that's what i was looking for is this mob duplicator uh just stuff like that in order to be able to get to there we need to be able to be producing that and for what it's worth if you're going to be doing the thing i want a specific thing come out of my netherrack and if you look at everything else that comes with this mess in here, you're going to get three things, all of which are processable through the, you know, the rest of the, you know, the stuff that we've already got. And again, if we just crush it and then we sift that, we're going to end up with a whole bunch of random junk that I don't want at all. I mean, some of this stuff, sure, we're going to need it for other mods and we will be doing those later on the force gems force crystals at uh, force craft we're probably already well past where we should have started with that one but again we'll play with some of these other mods eventually it is not my goal to touch every single mod in this pack it is my goal to play around and have fun and mess around with stuff that i haven't done again this is my first foray into 119 and, and actually anything over 116 and i only done one 116 pack and uh, it's surprisingly doing still very well on the youtube so anyhow let's go downstairs all the way down to where we're doing here i've done a little bit of rework this is just temporary kind of getting stuff moving around so that we can get things to where we need to go so i have a couple of uh well, a couple, couple of spreaders pointed up into a single mana pool that is then pushing back down into a couple of more spreaders. This is all incredibly temporary because as soon as we have sparks and the sparks augmentation, uh, this is all going to go away and we're going to move a few of these things around. Did do a little bit of kind of slight amount of decorating so you can kind of stand here and watch the slimes come in and get shoved up into where they need to go. But it's working, working reasonably well. I'm also trying some of the where are they light. I think no I don't want that give me that back um what did I do with the rest of them simple light bulbs uh they're just glowstone some stone and they make eight of them and as far as I can tell they're not a block so you're not walking you can't walk through them which is kind of neat they hang on the side, hang on the wall. So we may try to do a little bit more of that. I've got to come up with a design for this floor and we're kind of waiting on a little bit of automation for later on. I'm also testing something out for somebody and it looks 
pretty good. Sadly enough, this one thing that I'm not really happy about, and it's kind of one of those things we're going to either have to figure out how to make it work or we're going to be out of it, is that uh, factory blocks. Factory blocks for chisel. Chisel, um, which we do have chisel. As far as I know, this is chisel or chisel rebuilt or chisel whatever rechiseled. I can't get the factory blocks for that which makes me very, 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 very sad because factory blocks are one of my favorite things, which means I guess I could probably build it. Now, granted, the chipped mod, again, chipped has all kinds of interesting things in it. And uh, if we get into actually producing, well, like, let me do it this way, concrete. If we get into producing concrete, we can get some of the stuff that I like, like the warning blocks and some of the gray textures are pretty good some of the cyan textures are pretty good but this is concrete and concrete is a royal pain in the butt to deal with and i don't want to deal with it so i'm, I'm a little sad once again but anyhow uh as far as i know that is a fabric mod only or at least a fabric extension only for the chip mod or the chiseled mod and it really kind of it's sad. That's that's the problem with diversification is people will pick one direction over the other and then not look at the other one, even though FTB was the one that brought the majority of the mods to you. So anyhow, um, well, Forge was. Anyhow, let's um, get on with what we need to do. We need to do a little bit of goofing around with Batania. I've already got the stuff made that we need to do as far as things go. We need to go visit the elves, and in order to go do the thing, we need to go open a portal to the realm of Elfheim, which means I should be able to do that in here somewhere, right? I don't like the new version. I don't like the new Lexica. I know this is Vasky's mod. I don't like the new Les Lexica. I just I don't like it. It doesn't work. I'm glad I know what I'm doing with this mod. So in order to do a portal of Elfheim, we have to be able to make Terra Steel. And again, it's pushing us the direction we need to go. It's may I think it's in basics back up it's in this basics and mechanics they tell us go ahead make terra steel so again terra steel is made with a terrestrial agglomeration plate using a fair amount of mana and all of the runes built together so i've already constructed most of these we saw a lot of this last time again all i really had to do that was different was the rune of mana so let's gather all of those up real fast again we need to get this stuff over with so that i can do some other things with this mod so there should be a plate love it and again i i'm gonna be sticking with this until we need auto crafting or until we need something special i'm gonna be sticking with this storage system because it's wherever i need it and i love it so task completed living room i guess we have a bunch of tasks for this as well let's see what we've got going on here so this oh you're gonna give me a spark excellent good because i need some more sparks then the portal to elfheim so we're gonna need natura pylons elven gateway cores all that kind of interesting things that we need to do oh i'm gonna get this too excellent thank you that means i should be able to make that right off the bat work nice all right cool um well let's get after laying this plate down it's a it's a simple structure we're gonna need to make another we're gonna need to make another spark so we're going to need a couple of more petals i went ahead and did the did the usual over here that i normally do and craft a bunch of petals or a bunch of stuff up just so we can see what we have available i want to just go ahead and say one i think i just need two let's um i'm gonna go up and go sleep because i don't want to deal with that all right, a spark shouldn't be too hard to make. Just one of these sparks are very, they're my favorite way, of course, of moving mana around because you can just get things to move very quickly. I do believe we're likely going to build this in right. Let's move it over just one point here. So we need to do boink, 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 boink. Not that button, that button. There it is dropping pieces all over the place all right living rock living rock living rock living rock living rock and then this 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 that is going to be the lapis blocks and the plate nice and i'm just gonna put you on that one that should do the work so all we got to do now is order in order to get to the next section is we need a couple of more things so then it's going to want us to make Ter terra steel which is going to be a mana pearl a mana stealing and a mana diamond so i need one of those i want uh one of those and where are my diamonds one of those all right cool 
And all of those need to take a dip in the pool. Nice. And all of those, magnet off, get dropped on there. And this is a very, 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 very slow process until we can get a few more little things done, mainly a whole lot more sparks. I mean, I could put a whole bunch of sparks down on all of the other pools, and this would go a lot faster. But, uh, yeah, basically what we're doing is we're taking an ungodly amount of mana. Uh, yeah, I think it's a half a pool, if I remember correctly, to make one Terra Steel ingot. So, yay. Very wonderful, very awesome. First Terra Steel ingot. Thank you in the world. And we go here. So then we need to make all of this stuff. All right. Uh, Elven Gateway Core, three glimmer, glimmering liver wood, liver wood, living wood, and two Natura pylons. Again, kind of just cranking through some of this stuff. I do believe the pylons will start with those first. They're just going to be a mana pylon, which is, again, a mana diamond and a couple of things. I need one, two, and three, four, and some more diamonds. What did I do with them all? All of those, again, into the pool. Thank you. So one of those should be able to do that. One, two, and then we need to do one of these. So we're just going to do that. There goes our first Terra Steel ingot. We need a couple of ender, ender eyes. Yes. One, two, and two Natura pylons. Now, the uh, these right here, the mana pylons, once you can get to that point, that's a, you put two of these down, they fully fully augment a, uh, a, a what is it an enchantment table and these are used specifically so we can speak with the elves anyhow on to the next step which is a some glimmering liver, glimmer i can't say it today i can't speak uh, glimmering living wood is going to require a couple of pieces of glowstone dust let's see let's get a little bit of glowstone one two i think it's three three and the living wood that we have over here so those one two three what is it is it yeah oh it's logs oh um hmm living wood living wood log does it really okay do that once then there's the three of those we need all right it's guess it's been a while all right, there's the li glimmering liver. I can't, I don't know why I can't say that today. Today is just one of those kinds of days. It's <laughs> hilarious. Anyhow, we need an, an Elven Gateway Core again. Those should be the last little bit. So Elven Gateway Core, which should be some more of those. Strip Living Wood. It's the same stuff. Interesting. Okay. Uh, and we have another slime chunk over here that I didn't know about. Apparently, this one is one we're gonna have to fiddle with that or do something else with it because it's actually working just as good as this one does at times now one's getting ready to go take a walk this way brother come on my flowers need to eat it's been working really well i'm not gonna lie anyhow last little bit need one gateway core all right so that gave me the sparks and the two. Ah, oh, that is awesome. That is usually the first thing I make are those augment, those the dominant augments. That is amazing. Cool, 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 cool. All right, we are going to put this up over here somewhere. So is it going to, is the book allowing, going to allow me to see the thing now? Elves, where are they? Alphamancy. Ported Elfheim. Okay, so I guess it does work. It's just not very easy to use anymore. So, again, Portal Elfheim, not too terribly hard to construct. I do want a couple more of the mana pools because we don't have enough. So, let me see. Mana pool. Where are they? Those. One, two. And I guess we can get rid of all of this stuff. The reason why we're after this is because, well, if we want to be able to use either one of those two orchids, we need something that we have to barter with the elves with. And I think... 
I think for right now, we'll just build it over here. This whole floor is an absolute work in progress. We're going to have to do a whole lot of work with it later on, but let's just go ahead and do something like that. And I'm gonna do that and that for now. And the portal is, is it logs or is it gonna, is, is it, are you gonna make me strip it or is it logs? Living wood blocks of any variant. Okay, fine. I just want this. That's gonna be god awful. And then we need you. Can I get to that one from here? Yes. Still looking up. Nice. We'll just put some blocks in your corners you should always square off your portals they're supposed to be square they're not supposed to be odd looking and yeah it's gonna be a little close it's fine for right now we don't have a lot of uh <laughs> we don't have a lot of mana this is gonna probably eat quite a fair amount of it when we do this but anyhow put a mana pool down mana pool down mana pylon on it mana pylon on it yes and the spark and a spark now in there is a spark you can just barely see him and if i take this which the use on the or excuse me recipe on this this is supposed to require pixie dust this is why i'm excited about this because normally you would have to take a mana tablet and transfer mana to one of these pools or to these pools so i think we're probably going to have to remove you yeah okay and boop and boop and that will take a whole bunch of mana off the top of this one where I want it to. I want to kind of control it from there. Once we get a reasonable amount of mana in these pools, we should be able to light the portal. Where is my wand? Yeah, I'm just going to let it eat all that up and then let's see if it'll open. Yay, there we go. Elfheim portal. That's nothing you can do. You can't walk through it. It's just a crafting mechanic that is going to allow us to get a few things. Does this work? really neat okay cool i was unaware that that worked with the akashic tome cool all right nice so now we have the elven port that we can do all the fun stuff we get to play with all of the really neat things and this is when we can start doing gaia or the other stuff my major interest here is going to be dreamwood uh and it's going to be elementium the dragon stones pixie dust and we even get some more stuff i guess later on because of the other additional mods that have been added what we're going to do or what i'm going to do right now is uh we're gonna kind of get rid of all of this real quick and um i'm gonna make that work just slightly better so give me a second to work that out because what we need to do is i need let me see one two at least We'll start with two of them. The elven spreaders, the spreaders from the from this is amazing. And in order to make those spreaders, well, it's amazing. It works better than the other ones. We need to have a bunch of and if we do this, it should just be a one-to-one -one trade. So I need, we'll toss that in there for now, go. Thank you. And what else do I need? They need an elementium ingot, which is going to be, we'll do that. Thank you. And two more flowers. We'll just use you for now. I gotta remember to click in here. One, two. Did I drop piece? I did two all right now these these will allow us to pass quite a decent amount of mana now to get this stuff over with and that should help these empty considerably quicker quickie quicker quicker so i'm gonna wait till these drain out and then um well we'll uh we'll go from there that one definitely ate a lot it must have been a big slime Okay, so into the next little section here, got a little bit more reworked. We need to make another one of these augments, and the augments, are, again, are what happens once you get a couple of cool things going on. We do need to make a couple of recessive augments, and these are how we're going to kind of push things around. So essentially what you do is you can 
there's there's several different ways of using the augments and i don't tend to usually sit around and talk about them but it's an important thing to understand that what sounds like something that you want to be able to use to push mana out of a pool is not what you want to use a dispersive augment which is in the thing which is up here is one that is used to charge your mana tools so like your your tablets and your rings and stuff like that the dominant again pulls from any pool that is not augmented and the recessive will push from any from its current pool to any pool that you need so we need a couple of uh recessive pool ones so that we can go over there and start charging our mana battery and i also need to make one more dominant so let me see a recessive is going to be runes of earth or the one that we had fun with uh that's gonna be the interesting thing i need to make a couple of these i do have one and the dominant is a fire so essentially we're going to go ahead and do one of the dominants really quickly they're not that hard to make so it's just some mana steel so give me one of those and i should be able to just craft that right there correct nice all right so that one is going to go over here on this pool. I want this pool to stay as full as it possibly can all of the time. And essentially, that's what you see right here. Those are just going to pull and dump and dump. They're supposed to be. Why are there? What? I thought I put two of those on there. Hey, start emptying your inventory. Thank you. Now, usually I'll hang these up in the air so the stuff kind of floats downwards or does whatever. It's so much better than the those the spreaders but at least the spreaders are now capable of doing what they need to do so two of these are all we're going to need to keep up with these because that elven spreader can pretty much empty this very quickly and then when you have a potency lens on it it empties it even faster so even if we end up with both of them getting hit at the same time which one was it it drains very reasonably quickly uh, it, that's about all the faster we can go for right now, given how things go. And, you know, it is what it is on those parts. But I need to get a couple of recessives going so that I can push out of those two into these pools. And then we can move on with what else I wanted to do today. All right. And two recessive augments. Those should be right there. Not recessive. Disper yeah, recessive. That's what they are. And that will force these stuff out of there into these pools and fill them as we go. And then this will be our mana battery. This will be where the stuff comes from. Again, totally still working on this totally work in progress base area, this, this floor. But at least that gets us some stuff. That gets us the access to this, which is going to get us the access to the fun things. So I think with that, that's what I was wanting to do with at least Batania today. So I want to put a few things away that we don't really need anymore. And that's going to stay in my inventory. You can stay in here from now on because I don't need you. So part of the fun stuff, and I think what we'll do for the rest of it is part of the fun stuff about the rest of this is, is we're supposed to be out playing around looking for things in the, uh, the world. And, well, testing the um, Lytra out, I kind of found a couple of things. And I kind of wanted to go look at a couple of things. There's some things over here that we need to be looking at or at least talking to. The There's villages, there's sky villages, and that's one of the ways you're going to be able to progress things. Where is that? Is it over here? So we're supposed to make an Eye of Legend, and an Eye of Legend not too terribly hard to make. So let's go ahead and make one of these, even though I know where one of those things are. Uh, at least where these are anyway I found the reason why I said is and I remembered it is I was messing around in the nether and there's literally one that when you pop out like like it you didn't even I didn't even have to fly anywhere to find the thing so it was right available eye of legend thank you very much so this essentially is like a, a well an eye of ender and it will allow you to find sky villages and that's one of those things that we're going to find around out here so let's uh let's go upstairs we're gonna go sleep we're gonna go check this one out and uh we will go see what we can get just for the rest of the episode should be a little bit of fun at least so it should i'm thinking go that way maybe no, you're going to go over there because I, do, I know where that one is. So, so they are reusable, but we can go check this one out. Let me see. Uh, do we get anything cool out of this? No. Sky High Villagers. Yes. Wonderful. Great. Wonderful. And then we have a bunch of these things. Now, again, this is why I said I wanted these things. Where is... I don't really need this. Um, where is my controller? There it is. 
if we hit V on that and we go, let's go. We'll be there in just a couple of seconds. And there comes into being the first one. Let's hit V off. And then give me my control with my rockets the way I normally want to do it. And plunk. Nice. So these are all over the place. And this is going to be a village that we should be able to look at. And of course, there's just this is exploration. They're going to try to give you some things that you can do. If you're short on stuff, if you need things, if you're looking for specific stuff that you somehow haven't managed to find already, supposedly there's all kinds of interesting things to find. But um, we're kind of after just whatever in a can. I kind of wanted to just see what was available. So we're going to get these. Um, oh, beautiful. More of those wonderful Starbuncle shards, tallow, and raw mutton chops. What do you sell? You're a butcher. Okay, so that's your little station right there. What else are we going to get? Flawless breach gems. Some of this stuff we're going to have to play with fairly soon. Uh, growth serum, worker exploitation, chromatic operator, where these are going to be interesting. Cool. Um, I should have... I should have. Did I put one of those in that one? Hang on a minute. Um, ah, whatever. We'll put some of this away and we'll look at it as we wander around. I should have dumped a bunch of this extra junk off. What else are we going to find? Put your stuff away. We don't need this. Oh, and I don't need you charging off my inventory. Thank you very much. You need to stay here. And, yeah, food... Anyhow, let's see what else we're going to get. So this one's been found. That's a loom... Note blocks. I mean, I could come back out here with a miner and cut all this down if I really, really felt the need. Not seeing anything absolutely special. I mean, double tall flowers, sure. Ew, what is that? Oh, I don't care about Pet Rock. Don't need him. At least not for right now. Double tall flower. Another butcher of which I don't need. What do you got for me? You have liquid meat buckets. Interesting. Gem of the Wardlord. Again, I need to go play around with Apothesis. Apothesis looks like a lot of fun as far as augmenting things. More nutritious chicken feed. More Starbuncle shards. Use on this, I think, is the thing that you can use to summon animals and things and whatnot. I'm not into that totally, completely right now, but we'll see. Energetic wools and chromatic aberration. Oh, shearable wool will be changed, different things. I don't need those, and I don't need that either. What are you? You are a Fletcher? Probably should bring one of these guys back because I could really use a cheap trade. Come here, you. You're mine now. Thank you. Is there anything up here? I have been advised that you're supposed to uh, really stare at stuff and make sure you're paying attention. I don't need those. We get it. And what do we got here? Uh, I guess there's some stuff here. Infinity, Infinity, Quick Draw. I don't really plan on using bows unless we absolutely have to multi-bow multi-bow luminous shard I, i'm just gonna leave that stuff behind for the minute nothing else i can always come back there's a bell ding and i don't see anything really good down here Interesting. 
And you are a cartographer that I don't really, I mean, paper trade. That's actually a very good trade. Come here. For the minute. Come here. Not that I really want them. I'm not going to spend a lot of time goofing with the villagers, I don't think, other than just, you know, getting some normal things. Uh, tools of War schematics. This is Tetra stuff. Should we ever, ever decide to play with Tetra, we'll, uh, we'll have to look at those later. I don't think I'm going to care too much about Tetra. It's still not one of the mods that I care to pay attention to, so we'll see. Um, maybe it's gotten better. I don't know. Ever since I, since the since the last time I used it, I was not impressed. What do you got? Raw stuffed hoglin. We need to cook those, if I remember correctly. And there's another throwing knife plus more liquid meat and a whole bunch of stuff. Those are just for cheap things. I'll take the wool because the wool, supposedly, you can use it to make power eventually. What are you? You're another cartographer. I don't need any. I mean, supposedly with the system the way that we have the stuff going with this mod you can get rid of this pretty get their trades gone pretty quickly so it just saves on having to spend a lot of time training them i'm a dozen how have i already opened 10 of them hmm, okay uh empty map don't want Stuff's already filling up. I'll have to go check this up when we get back. Don't want to lose those two things or that. That can all go. Just put it away. Doesn't matter. It's fine. Let's see. Paper, more stuff for Tetra, and some empty maps that I'm not worried about. Anything else good up here? Nothing else, Heidi, I don't think. So there's some... I mean, it might be worth coming back to mine all this stuff out. Might. What are you guys? You are a cleric. You are coming with me. Thank you. And you are... Where did you go? You guys are a Fletcher. Butcher, butcher, butcher. I probably should do something else. But yeah, I'll take the cleric. I don't really, I don't really want any bow stuff. I don't need any bow stuff. I'm not planning on using bows unless we absolutely have to use bows. Anything down here that's of any use to us. I do see a few emeralds. I don't see much anything else though. Uh -oh. No, let me out. Crap. I hate those things. Oh, hey, there's one of these right here. Interesting. Okay, I might need to make note of that. Is there anything else good laying around up here? What in the world is this? I mean, normally I would steal that, but I can make them, so no big deal. All right, so that is a Sky Village. Looks like there's not a whole heck of a lot here for us to mess around with other than maybe easy access to some of this kind of stuff. Plus, there's some, like, quartz, and I'm... Um, hang on a minute. I'm not expecting much, but, you know, I know how mod pack and mods creators are. They tend to hide things in places. Is this just a... Quartz pillar with a decoration on it. Yes. And there's some glowstone and some stuff. Terracotta. I mean, th this is usable for other things, I guess. But um, I guess the only problem with being able to run as fast as this guy can is <laughs> you kind of miss things. I got to probably slow down. All right. Let's um, Slow down and take a look at it. Is there anything hiding else out around? So there's another one of these little orbs here. Those are, as far as I know, is for um, the elemental craft thing. That's, that's how you're going to be able to power. It's kind of kind of reminds me a little bit of Thomcraft, a little, just a teeny tiny amount. 
So I don't see. Don't see anything else. All right. Well, um, back to base. All righty. Well, I think I'll call it right there. We'll probably go look at the one in the nether in the next episode, or we may do a little bit more goofing around because I think, again, the next step we need to kind of look at is trying to advance towards some of these other mods that we get to play with. And in order to do some of these mods that we get to play with, we need to be able to make the better of the uh, advanced frames and the simple machine frames, some of this stuff. We need to get into these so that we can start playing with some more of this stuff, which means we're going to have to possibly make another mob farm that we'll be able to use to craft up uh the pink slimes that we're going to need and other things and i am not going to be doing that with this farm we're going to probably build something over in this chunk that will be opposite that of course so that it at least remains decent looking for now but until then i guess i will see you all later thank you so much for watching bye